Okay, so it's Christmas Eve and me and the apprentice are still working. This was his idea and need to get that out there. This was his idea. He wanted to work, so I got him a job to fit a door and frame today. He's never fitted a door and frame, so let's see how he does. So I'm here with the apprentice now. And it's Christmas Eve. How do you feel about working on Christmas Eve? You just don't care. You just don't care. Okay, well, we're going to our job now. So we're at the job now, just pulled up, and we're just going to go in and get all the tools we need. <laughs> Okay, so we're inside the job now. Here is the opening where the apprentice will be fitting the frame. And the client would like the door lining to be set back, opening towards the wall. So first off, the apprentice is just measuring the opening. Now this is a non-standard opening, so we are going to have to do a bit of adjustment on the door and on the door lining. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. From end to end so my laser level has actually broke so we have to go back to the spirit level yeah i don't know why it's just broke can i use this yeah will it cut yeah. it's got mold on it Okay, it's not mold, it's rust. Same thing. Now, because the door opening is a non standard size, I do have to adjust the door lining. I do this by measuring the door opening and transferring the marks onto the door lining head. While I was doing that, the apprentice is just cutting back the skirting to allow for the door frame to sit back to the wall. After that, we went on a little break because the client had made us breakfast. Once we had eaten, the apprentice was ready to start making up the frame and start fitting. To save the video being too long, I am going to edit it down, so I hope you enjoy. explaining to the apprentice what he needs to do next because this is a plasterboard wall. Oh. How to fix plasterboard screws? No? What, all the way through? 
Yeah, in, into the wall. Yeah. And then what? Yeah. Round about that one. Or no? A little bit lower. Yeah. It's like a screw, you put it in and then it gets and then open. You need to feel the resistance because you can't have this spinning. Okay, so what you do is put it in and then like that. Okay? So flush in the plasterboard, but obviously you don't let it spin. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see, move your finger. I think I've done it wrong. How have you done it wrong? Oh, but I haven't. I think it looks perfect. Okay. That is definitely perfect. Yeah, done a little gap, it's not 100% against the door. Oh. Looks nice. It's nice to me. Hmm? Yeah. 
You know you're putting the latch in. Okay. Uh, you know you haven't drilled up for the handles or anything yet. Are you gonna put the handles on? But we're all done now. Just packing up the apprentice is just cleaning up everywhere. And I'm just still waiting for him to get done. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. So now that the job's done, let's write the apprentice's door. Let's start with the gaps. It should be a three mil gap running all the way along. On this door, it was a three mil gap at the bottom and then it went to round about a two mil gap consistently. Also on the head, it was three mil in some places and two mil in the middle. Overall, I'll give the margins a nine out of 10. Now let's move on to the latch. Now with the latch, it's not 100% central and it has got a little bit of imperfections like at the top, but overall it's chopped out very nicely and it's 100% flush with the door and it's a lot better than other work I've seen. So for this, I'll give him an 8 out of 10. The hinges, let's start from the bottom. So the bottom hinge has no faults. It's 100% flush with the door and 100% chopped out. Very nice. Same thing with the middle hinge, chopped out beautifully. Now this would have been a flawless victory, but the top hinge has a little bit of imperfections. Now this door is going to be painted white, so it will be filled and painted and you won't be able to see that once it's done. But overall, I'll give the apprentice a 8.5 out of 10 for this. Now with the keep, this is near enough perfect. It's in the right location. It's 100% flush with the frame. And let's see how it shuts. And it shuts, no rattle at all. Try that again. No rattle at all. Wow, that is very impressive. So for the keep, I'll give this a 10 out of 10. So for timekeeping, I'll probably give this a 1 out of 10. But strictly for the quality of the door and how it's fitted, I'll probably give him overall a 9 out of 10. Is Andy working tomorrow? No. You can get me at 6. Six. Six a.m. Yeah. On Christmas Day. Oh my gosh. Huh? Yes, bro. That is what I just said. You're killing me slowly. So, me and the apprentice have done for today. I thought it was going to take four hours. He took nine hours to fit one door and frame. Yeah, it was a perfect job, flawless victory and all that. But at what cost? Because now I'm going home to do video editing and it's late and it's late. We'll also be working on Christmas day. So that video will be coming up next, but Hope you enjoyed the video because it was very, very long to make this video and very stressful to be a part of the video. But yeah, um, the apprentice fitted his first door and frame. So good job. You've done a good job all in all. Thank you. How did you enjoy working today? It's all right. I learned a lot. You learned a lot? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. That's all that matters, I guess. Yep. Alright, then I'll see you. Thank you.